Welcome back to our video module on dynamics. Today we're going to pick up our discussion of relative coordinate frames. We've talked about position and velocity with regards to relative coordinate frames and today we'd like to talk about acceleration. So thinking our way and feeling our way through acceleration is very similar to what we did with velocity. So let's take a look at starting off with our fixed coordinate frame with the same axis as the rotating coordinate frame. So now instead of just having some omega, we're also going to have some alpha. It might be increasing in angular velocity. And if we do that, we know that we know what these terms are. We know the first term is going to be the centripetal acceleration, which is minus omega squared r of p with respect to O, plus some term that addresses the change in the angular velocity, which is a cross r p with respect to L. So we have something slightly more complicated than the velocity, but the ideas are the same. Instead of just a tangential velocity, we have a centripetal acceleration, and we also have some component that accounts for the change in angular velocity. Next, let's take a look at translation. We can pretend that we have our primed coordinate frame and it's not rotating in any capacity, rather it's accelerating away from the fixed coordinate frame with some acceleration. We know then, in the same way as before, that the acceleration for that coordinate frame and for every point on it is going to be exactly the same, so the acceleration of the point with respect to O is simply the acceleration of the coordinate frame with respect to O. We can combine these two terms now, which are acceleration, and we see that the acceleration of P with respect to O is equal to the translation effect, which is the acceleration of O prime with respect to O, plus the rotation effect, and the rotation effect is minus omega squared position of P with respect to O prime plus alpha crossed position of P. This tells us the overall effects of translation and rotation on the acceleration between two relative frames. And of course, if one wanted to, you could also understand the sum of these accelerations in vector notation. Let's erase our existing work. So if we imagine the merry-go-round rotating in this direction as well as some sort of angular acceleration plus the coordinate frame moving away from us, we would have something that looks like this. We'd have, let's say, the acceleration of O prime with respect to O here. We'd also have some sort of acceleration due to our alpha. So this is alpha cross RPO. And we would have might have some centripetal acceleration due to the rotation of uh, the prime coordinate frame, maybe going down something like this. To end with a final acceleration, to end with a final acceleration that tells us the total acceler acceleration of point P with respect to O. I hope this short video module allows you to see the ties between acceleration and velocity and relative coordinate frames as well as helps you think about it at a more intuitive level. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you on our next module when we explore this concept more fully.